Hello and welcome. My name is Victoria Rose. Today we are finally exploring the hot spring scene in Nevada slash western Arizona, which I've never been to before. The problem here is that I think there's a brain eating bacteria in these waters. My main thing is to get in some good hiking, but I do want to go in the hot spring, so I'm just not going to put my head under. We're going to see how this goes. I don't know yet, but apparently these hot springs are pretty cool out here. I live in my 1998 Jeep Cherokee XJ. I have traveled from Pennsylvania all the way out here to the west. But I just checked out my hotel this morning because I needed to do some work. I do YouTube. So as much as I don't like gambling or casinos or any of that type of vibe, I find it very depressing. The people here, especially at the front counter, are very, very kind and very welcoming. Because I got my free coffee. This is a size small. This is huge. I'm not going to drink all of this, but it's free coffee, so I'll have a little bit. I'm going to make it my oatmeal change into a swimsuit underneath um, like a good hiking outfit because this it's gonna get too hot for this it's gonna get in the 70s today and while hiking in the sun I think I'll get quite toasty and then I'm finally gonna make my way hopefully I waited till Monday to do this so it would be quite empty got our hiking outfit <laughs> it's um, not ideal but I don't have the best hiking gear yet to invest in some I'm hoping this egg is still good. It's been sitting out here, but it smells okay. I don't know. Let me try it. <laughs> don't judge me. Okay. It's alright. But I'm also gonna make some oatmeal. Have my apples. I wanna have a healthy breakfast for this hike. Let us begin the day. And so we begin our adventure. Here we go. Sometimes out here, it looks like you're on like a different planet. So pretty and nice. My battery's gonna die, so I have to be very careful with it. I like require some scrambling, which I love. not an easy hike. It was amazing. A great hike. This water is kind of slimy. No, it's actually pretty warm. It's pretty nice. It's not bad. Um, I don't want to put my face in it, that's for sure. <laughs> but I, I completed the hike and this is a nice little soak for my feet. First one, second one, third one down there. Now we just take the over three mile journey back. I'm not gonna lie, oh! I have the hiccups. I've had the hiccups for half of the trail. <laughs> that was one of the hardest hikes I've ever done. Like a little under seven miles. I understand now why it's closed during <laughs> the summer. So the sun is just, <laughs> man. I didn't bring enough water either. So I just drank a bunch of water. It was great on the way there and everything and getting to climb the ropes and having all the variety and stuff. <laughs> but the way back, I was limping. I'm just like, water. <laughs> I'm not a walker. I like hiking where it's, it's like short, but like intense. To be fair, you should hike there, stay hours, rest, relax, and then hike back. But I hiked there, stayed for a very short period of time, and then hiked back. So I, I didn't really stop hiking the whole while. I drove to the store and got some groceries very sluggishly. I'm just, I'm so, like, I, it's pathetic. I was planning on going down that really bad road and going all the way down this time. But if it rains, there's no way because 
that road floods. I'm gonna head that way anyways and try to go down to that lake area and camp there for the night. But if I do break down, I do not have the energy to do anything about it. If I broke down, I would just stay in the middle of the road and go to sleep. <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna try and get there. Do you ever get so tired so you just wanna cry and you just wanna have a tantrum and you want someone to put you just put you down, you know? Here we go. <laughs> That is a lot. Whenever I'm driving her at low speeds and crawling like this, I need to turn the heat on full blast. Otherwise she will overheat. It's like a sauna in there. Nothing worth anything is easy. Well, unless it is. We're going to that lake up there. That's what we're trying to get to. It's gorgeous out here. Oh, we made it out here. Nobody's around. It's so empty. It's just me and Yuki. Just kidding. I'll show you the reality of this type of lifestyle. I don't know if some influencers don't show you. I'm sorry if you guys have this type of RV. I just hate them. I hate how they look. I hate how big they are. I'm a very hateful person. Okay, yada yada yada. But they just ruin it. They ruin it. Ever since like van life kicked off, there's so many more sprinter vans everywhere. And it's like, how did you get the van and the trailer down here that must have been hard but anyways i found a little camp spot here those ones are already taken over there and i don't really want to be around other people it's still so nice out here and i know that the vibes are good people are just trying to relax and stuff let's just cut out that rv if we can out of the shot thank you the crew is doing great <laughs> This is our little spot right now. It's a one woman show here. I do the editing, the filming, the drone, and it, and on top of my adventuring, it just makes me really exhausted to do all of it. Oh, excuse you. She's mad at me for the road I just took her on. The one nice thing about van lifers is usually they're all busy doing their little aesthetic things and filming things. So if I film, they probably don't even bat an eye. Can I tell you something else I don't like? <laughs> If you know me in person, you know I'm insufferable. I just am. I'm a very hateful, terrible person. I don't like families. <laughs> I, just like, I don't like the most wholesome thing you can ever think of. I don't like families that cluster things up. It just be, I spent a long day. I'm, I'm, I'm being bad. I'll be better in the morning. Don't judge me, please. I mean, you can actually, you should, because I'm judging everyone else, so. Please do, but don't say it to me. I'm not saying this directly to them. Um, let's see what I got to eat. I'm a tired girl. I'm a tired, hateful, insufferable girl. They're people that I really look up to and follow and stuff. Like, they're these great people. They're so social. They love to be, they love exploring and traveling and doing adventurous things and never get stressed out. And they like to talk to the locals. And I'm this anti-social, like, what went wrong? But it's, it's like, can we have more people on YouTube that just are running away from people and when they see them, they're sad about it? Because <laughs> I feel so terrible. I was gonna get like refried beans, but I have to get things with only a pop top because I don't have a can opener. So all the canned things I get has to have, be a pop top, so it limits my choices. Of course, our huge boiled eggs, cottage cheese, salsa that has been sitting in here for a couple days. It's okay. It lasts. I've tested it. Science. I got some little um, tortillas. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I got salad kits. Tons of oranges because I like to snack. I don't need to cook anything really. I'm just gonna make them cold because I'm lazy and I don't care that much about myself. <laughs> I can't not just be honest. Like people are like, oh, I'd just love to travel with you. No, you wouldn't. 100%, there's only very few people that can actually take me. It's a small percentage like, and I trust them in my life and they're great people, but there's a very small percentage and I would not place myself upon another person. It would be worth it to just travel down here and just spend the day here tomorrow and not really worry too much. Cause I have been on the go for the past while now. I just keep moving location like every single day and I haven't actually just kind of stayed somewhere. And I might go crazy, but I might read a book. My diet is not for anyone except for me. <laughs> like that's another thing about traveling with me. I'm not a fun person to eat with. I'm very specific with what I consume. That's why I like to be alone sometimes because no one's judging. <laughs> Except for me. Here it is. This is supper. I'm probably gonna have like three of these tortilla things. I'm rewarding myself for a long day of hiking and being a hateful person. Mm -hmm. Would you eat this? Be honest. Mm. 
mediocre. <laughs> it suffices. I'm getting nourished. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. Good morning. So, I'm just watching my neighbors out here. I want to go up and park there. But, um, I don't know, it's like eight and no one's budged yet. This guy definitely, he's, I think he's moved here permanently. He's not moving at all. He's set there. You can tell because he's not even hitched. The, it's not even hitched to his vehicle. That's going to take time. So, he's just enjoying his new land these people definitely are not going to move either because they came with a car and they already left in their car so they can come and go as they please they're probably going to stay the whole 14 days that are allowed these people came in last night took my spot <laughs> and these people over here i think they're just like a whole family yeah. they're gonna take that's gonna take a long time to tear down so there's no way that they're they're they already took off work and stuff they're staying that's the uh neighbor forecast for the day otherwise sunshine and 70s. So I kind of wanted to do a little experiment today and that is actually just sitting in one location the whole day and not really doing much and like no hiking, no going to the grocery store, no doing laundry, no trying to find another destination, no driving, nothing. Just like reading and stuff like that and I came to the realization that this is hard. It's like it's 10 30 in the morning and I'm bored. And this may seem silly, but it's actually kind of alarming because it's like, you feel very restless and very like, um, like there's somewhere I have to be, but there isn't. Like there's a lot I have to think about with social media and editing and all that type of thing. Like I can do that too, but like it almost makes me feel more stressed staying in one spot than to continuously move. And not all people who do traveling and exploring and all this type of stuff are well set you know, stable people. Most of them probably are not, but I yearn for stability. Just sit down. I do want to go swimming, but I don't want to, it to be awkward. I was hoping that this place would be a little bit more secluded, but whatever. I feel like when there's people around, I have to like be a smaller person, if that makes any sense. Especially when I'm filming and stuff. I know how like annoying and obnoxious like people who do social media and stuff are. I don't want to be that person. I act like I hate people and stuff and I don't really. At the end of the day, I don't really. I really like them a lot. Okay, so I had to just come back to my original camp spot that I had the other night because everyone took all the good ones. All these big white with the swirls on them RVs. I'm not mad. But I am because this thing fell out when I opened my thing and now there's a big hole in it and it sprayed all my eyes. Ah. We're okay. The life of me. This is gonna swell. Oh, at least we're alone now. That's all I can ask for. <laughs> to be embarrassed all by myself. Oh, sprayed right in my face, right in my eyeballs. I think my water that I have stored in here it's probably not the best anymore. It's been in here for like a month now. So I feel like I should use this up, not drinking it, but just using it for bathing. I do need to drink it just today because I don't have any other water, but I'm going to buy some more water to refill it for drinking water, but we need to bathe. So, so I have things stored in here, like the big comfy couch. I don't know if any of you guys grew up on that, but <laughs> so this is a collapsible bucket. So I'm just going to pour a lot of water in here. We need to actually put it the full way. We can just make half a bucket. You really don't need that much water for a good cleansing, but I want to like wash my face, you know, just everywhere. This isn't something that I do regularly just because it's a hassle. I do stop at hotels like once or twice a week to use the internet and stuff so I can just shower there fully. And you know, I use a lot of baby wipes. I keep clean is what I'm saying, but sometimes like I've been hiking and sweating a lot. so. Today is just a little different. I, I don't know if I've showed this before, but it's like, it's for people of color and like for their dreadlocks, but it works really well in my hair as well. It's really easy to use when you're traveling too. So I just put like a, it's like a apple cider vinegar rinse, which I love. So all I need to do is go like that and then it's already suds and everything. All I need to do is rinse it. Just for my bangs, not 
the whole head, obviously. I'm gonna wash my face with this. I'm gonna get like a very basic. Oh, it's refreshing. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah. One thing I value above a lot of things is cleanliness. I can't stand being dirty and smelly, and I don't like to be around people that are dirty and smelly. Good morning. I decided just now I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the other hot spring. I came all this way for that one particularly. And I read, you know, the bacteria and stuff is probably long gone by now. I would feel like I didn't accomplish what I came to do if I didn't, even though it's gonna be grueling and hard. I'm gonna do it. First things first, I need to get some water. I need to go to the gas station, and get some water. I know now what to do better since the last one. I need to carry more water because I was dehydrated at the end. Ugh, you gotta do what you set out to do. I'm already tired. <laughs> Good morning. So I had a protein bar, and I some eggs. I got a whole thing of water I'm bringing with me and trail mix, so I'm prepared this time. I guess it's down that away, and this is all pretty much in the direct sunlight. Wow, how vast and marvelous to marvel. After sitting yesterday, kind of just trying to chill, you know, because I was bored and stuff. Yeah, I felt more calm. And I need to slow down, otherwise I won't be able to upkeep this lifestyle. I get rowdy, but this is magnificent, jeez. Some people say they don't prefer the desert, and I was like that too. I'm like, why would anyone enjoy the desert? It's desolate, but there's literally life everywhere. and. Uh, I think once you get out here and actually experience it and the vastness of it, your perspective will change a lot. Exercise for being cleansed. That was the hottest hot spring or water I've ever stepped into before. The first pot, the first pool. There's a different way you can come in where you don't have to go through that pool, but this hiking way you have to. Ow. But the hot spring was really nice. Um, this nice naked couple told me there was another route you could take, but I decided to come back the same way, so I had to walk through that pool again. So. I boiled, I'm hydrated, I got snacks for the way back, and I feel like it was success. And um, I was reading about like the bacteria stuff, and it's like they've had it tested since then, and the results came out really clear, and I feel warm. I think I should sit down for a little bit. I think two water bottles would be good for this trip. Mm. Oh, those droplets. All right, we're at the home stretch now. I think I'll survive. It's high noon. That whole hike was around seven miles again. Um, according to my watch, it was around 13,000 steps. I feel accomplished. I don't feel as terrible as the other hike where I wasn't as prepared and have as much water or food. I'm glad that I did it. All right, I made it to my camp spot for the night, which is absolutely beautiful. You don't know where the road's gonna take you if there are even gonna be predetermined campsites. It's getting a little chilly. It's colder than where I was. I'm looking forward to a real shower at some point. That's been my adventure trying to find hot springs of Nevada slash Arizona so far. I think I did pretty well, and I'm very glad that I decided to stick to my word and to find the second one. Sticking to your word to yourself especially is the most important thing you can do because if you don't stick to your word, what will you stick to, you know? Thank you so much for coming on these adventures with me. I feel like 
when I have the camera, I'm talking to someone and it makes it not really be lonely. It just, it's just an adventure, a solo adventure. So let's be staying extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video. Don't go anywhere. Bye.